Thank you very much indeed for coming along today and uh, opening the opening of the symposium. Um, and also thanks for the kind words about the department. And I'd like to thank you and uh, the other members of the, the university management for a, a very warm welcome here. And also I'd like to thank my colleagues in the department as well, I, um, who've, um, who've been nothing but gracious since they arrived. So many, many thanks for that. Now, the theme of today's conference, as you know, is creativity, which is a rather slippery uh, concept. So, um, as I'm, you know, essentially my training a linguist or a kind of linguist, I looked this up in the OED, and because um, I had to find out what it was, and <clears throat> it's defined in the OED as creative power or faculty, ability to create. Okay, so uh, it strikes me as a rather sort of circular definition. So um, we're, you know, so. What, we go, what are we going to do? We're going to be looking at this conference at uh, creative powers, um, our ways of creating things, our ability to create. And one thing, as the Dean mentioned, one thing we'd like to create is, is working relationships, I mean, real relationships with those universities, those institutions that uh, you're coming from. Okay, so if you're not from City University and you're from overseas universities, let's think about ways in which we can create student exchange schemes, staff exchanges, research collaboration, and so on. We're really very much open to this, and the university, City University, is open, open to that as, uh, as well. Um, now, going back to definitions, um, creativity didn't get me very far in the OED, so I looked up creative, okay? And so, creative, as an adjective, is defined. There's a number of definitions, but the two main definitions are as follows. Having the quality of creating, given to creating, or of <laughs> pertaining to creation. Originative. Ah, now that's you know, also um, pretty unhelpful. But in um, definition B, we have these words. In inventive, imaginative, exhibiting imagination as well as intellect. Which leads me to the person who put together this conference, who displays these qualities, and that's Rodney. Rodney Jones. Rodney did this conference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Kingsley, and uh, good morning to everyone. I have just a few announcements, a few housekeeping matters to um, to take care of, and then we'll get on with the um, with the conference. Uh, we're nearly all here. Uh, there are still some latecomers. Uh, Andrew Morrison uh, uh, is here. Yeah. Ah, welcome. Ah, welcome. So, Andrew just arrived this morning. I, I think they shuttled you directly from the airport to uh, the conference. You haven't had a chance even to put down your bag. Have you? <laughs> yeah. Right. So, many thanks for that. Robert Bringhurst uh, will be arriving this afternoon. I do want to say that Robert is not coming from Mexico. Um, that's, that's just his affiliation. So, don't be too concerned about that. And uh, Timothy Mo will be arriving this evening. Um, so, related to. Uh, Robert not coming from Mexico. I think you may have noticed out on the table here, we have face masks available, alcohol wipes available, if anyone is concerned about the swine flu, anything like that. The university, universities in Hong Kong are very, very good at this sort of thing. So the university has set up all sorts of systems and precautions. Uh, if you wish to have your temperature taken, then there's a table uh, in the main entrance of the university where anyone can go and have their temperature taken at any time. Uh, during the day. So if you're feeling a bit feverish, then, uh, then you can go uh, there. Uh, we do have an IBM laptop set up here, a uh, PC, for uh, the presentations. But if you wish to use your own computer, that's perfectly OK. It's very, very easy to uh, change the setup. But I'd like you, if you would like to use your own computer, uh, simply to inform the people at the front desk um, that you would like to use your computer so we can actually help you to get it set up, fix the resolution, that sort of thing, ahead of time. So if you're using a Mac or, or something like that, just let us know in the front desk about that. Right. I'd like to tell you a little bit about the, the way the conference is organized. Um, you'll notice that we have groups of two or three papers, and then we have rather lengthy discussions of around half an hour. We've allotted half an hour for each paper, and uh, surely, is sitting right in the front here, and uh, she will be the person who will help you to keep the time. So 10 minutes, 5 minutes, uh, she'll hold up uh, a sign. I've also prepared a sign for her that says, 5 minutes over. Right. Um, just to let you know that I, you have half an hour, but we're not going to be 
we're, we're going to be, we're not going to be too strict about it. Okay, so if, if you go over five minutes, ten minutes, uh, ten minutes may be a bit much, but five minutes, that's okay. Because we have allotted quite a long time for the discussion. And you'll also notice that we've allotted quite a long time for the coffee breaks as well, half an hour for the coffee breaks. That, that's partly to give you a chance to, to chat more informally, but partly also to give us a little leeway with the time. So just bear in mind, if you talk longer than you expected, then our coffee break will be slightly shorter, and you might get blamed for that. Right? Um, <laughs> I do apologize for those of you who have your laptops and, and would like to access the internet wirelessly. We do have a very, very good wireless inter infrastructure here at CityU, but people have to register for it, and it takes about a day for that to go through. And so uh, we have set up a computer right out here, another laptop, if you'd like to use it to check email uh, or, uh, or anything like that, it's available, um, it's available for you. Now, this is a round table. It's not exactly, it's more like a horseshoe shaped table. Um, but the whole point of a round table is a kind of active discussion. So uh, there won't be time for questions directly after each paper. But as I say, we will have a, a, a lengthy discussion period afterwards. And you'll notice that next to your seat, there is a microphone. There's a little green, um, there's a little green Yes. So when you when you press this button, then your microphone uh, will be on. So when we do have the discussion, please make use of the microphone so um, everyone can hear you. So during the day today, uh, tomorrow and Saturday, if you have any questions at all, any problems, any needs, please don't hesitate to come to me or find Bell. It's right over here. Our conference secretary has done a great job of organizing. Uh, just find the. Uh, Bell or, or me, and we'll try to take care of your problems. So, without further ado, I'd like to introduce Professor Vijay Bhatia, who's going to introduce our first papers, and he'll also be acting uh, to facilitate the discussion for the for this morning. So, Professor Bhatia. 